we are driving along Las Escaleras, the staircase. We're in our four-wheel drive mobile. Jeff's having the time of his life. Pop, pop that away! <laughs> It's a crazy little road and it's absolutely gorgeous. Got some, uh, some flowers and things. Real estate everywhere. And so that's fun. Oh, which way do we go? We're gonna keep going up. Whoa. Calle Publica. Yeah, Calle Publica. That's, uh, well, that's the public road. This way? Yeah. And that one's private entrance. Okay, but if we can't do it, we don't have to do it. So which way are we going to the right up there? Yeah. All right. Whoa. Huge bird. Okay, we're going up the public road. It's a beautiful <laughs> view and we are not gonna make it. Try it again. All right, we'll give it one more try. Yes, no joke. This road. Lonely Planet wasn't kidding when they said four wheel drive is an absolute necessity. Okay, here we go, take three. For the Bella Vista. Oh God. Okay. I don't like this anymore. There we go. Okay. So uh, we're back. <laughs> Mission up to the top was aborted because Janelle got scared. Um, and I don't know that we could have made it, honestly, but we're driving back down now. Pretty stuff to look at.
recently learned how to work the radio in the car and that was a fine, fine moment. trying to pass this truck and it's not looking great yet because there's some traffic up ahead but oh Jeff is uh, getting really burnt up tell us Jeff steaming steaming it's this one blue car is fault that's he's further up now still driving slowly I'm sure what did he do uh, to begin with did he pass us to start no but there was a straight away back there where we tried to pass a truck and then that other car came and passed and sort of blocked us in and you know he should have he should have moved up when he had the chance and he didn't and it just backed us all the way up all the way down the line here and here we are Rumble. 15 kilometers later oh it's an outrage still behind the truck Just a little two-lane bonus out of nowhere. So we finally passed the truck. It just happened. But uh, once again, Janelle's lack of camera skills. Because and I had to look at maps and road signs. I got very busy for a second. But now we have two lanes. This is the first time I think in this country we've seen two lanes. Uh, no, on the way out of San Jose. There were two. Okay. Well, it's the first time in a while. Yeah. Still got some big trucks and their uh, skinny little lanes. Get that blue car. <laughs> now we are driving to Santa Elena. And the little mountain roads. It's beautiful. See clouds up there in the cloud forest. Yeah. They don't call it the cloud forest for nothing. Let us pass. Muchas gracias. See. Sí. So Jeff didn't have to get frustrated. Up and up and up we go. So the Lonely Planet book made it sound as though these roads were not paved at all. Yeah, I keep uh, waiting for them to deteriorate. Yeah, so far we've been looking pretty good. Two wheel drive. Mm -hmm. Monte Verde, we found out, was founded by Quakers. American Quakers in the 50s migrated down here looking for a peaceful place to live and farm. And they found it. There were 11 Quaker families that came. A bunch of them flew and a bunch of them drove all their possessions down. It took three months for them to get here from Alabama, according to Lonely Planet. But they were wrong about the road, so... Right. <laughs> oh, we, uh... Hey! These feel a little bumpier. There we go. Switching on to four-wheel drive. So we've learned thus far in Costa Rica a number of things. Um, one of the things that we've learned is that we should take all of the maps and the road signs with a grain of salt. Because uh, none of them really are accurate. 
times arrow is pointing to the right, meaning that you should keep going straight for a little bit and then go to the right. Sometimes arrows pointing straight actually mean that you should go left. Big lizard on the road up ahead. Tiran. This has made the Lonely Planet top 10 list of worst roads in Costa Rica. Of the worst roads, we've driven on uh, two of them so far, and, and plus one more that we think should be added, which is from San Isidro to Dominical. Mountain of Death Road. There is the Mountain of Death Road also, yeah. Maybe just the San Jose to Dominical route that list. But this is a uh, stunning scenery. It's not at the moment. we will turn the camera around in a minute. But oh my goodness, the ride is bumpy. It's been like this for about 30 kilometers so far. I think we have another 10 k's to go. What's that sign say? Did you see it? 
Uh, the part sort of folded over. The part that listed the amount of kilometers was uh, broken off. Broken, hey. not just folded. Hey, hey now we get road. But wait a minute. Cows. Such is driving in Costa Rica. We got stuck behind some horses yesterday. Are you gonna split the cows for us? Move these cows! <laughs> Move it! I mean, this is utterly ridiculous. <laughs> the uh, car in front of us appears to be doing a little herding of its own. Yeah, he looks like he's trying to milk them. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's not to love about cows? Oh, careful, cow button. Oop. That one's. Uh... See if you can. Uh... All right, there we go. Gracias. Good girl. Muchas gracias. Oh, good one. <laughs> oh, we got a couple trotters up here. <laughs> These are the calves. Oh, hello. thank you. <laughs> Careful. Uh. All right, we are free of the cows. It's unfortunate, but true. A little too late on the Costa Rican bandwagon. But we do have a view here. Mysteries lie beneath the clouds. Magma. Vulcan. Greek god of the fiery pits of hell. <laughs> okay, I don't think that's right. I've heard though. walk in the shadow of the great volcano. Explosions off in the distance. Newly formed rocks hurled through the air. The fertile volcanic ash gives way to these ferns and these taller things as well. The volcano is just there. Remains under a cloud. The trail that we're walking on is this black ash rock residue of the last eruption um, in 1975. And uh, now it forms a nice path for us to walk on. <laughs> the lava has been, uh, it's been good to us so far. It made a nice road for us to drive down while mm -hmm. we're on the way here. That was good. It's perfectly shaped for a car too. It's really amazing. Here, a prehistoric creature slowly reclaiming uh, <laughs> territory that the volcano hath wrath. Long, as long as we can hear animal life, we know that we'll be okay. As we know, animals can sense, they can feel the seismic activity. And should the birds stop calling, should we hear an eerie silence, we should take that as a reckoning, as a calm before the storm. 
and get the hell out of here. And that's a bird. This is lava flow from 1992. Estepas, headed for Cañas and the Inter-Americana Norte. Jeff, how, uh, how are you feeling? Good, good. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Avoiding potholes. Uh-huh. Yeah, the, there are fewer potholes now than there were until Tileron. So but... maybe that's more dangerous because we get up to like 80 or 90 k's an hour and then right. they, they come up a little quicker. Ah, it's all in the name of fun. No, you're having a good time driving, right? I am. Okay. I'm in neutral. We're going down a hill now. Here, I'll put it in the fifth. Okay, here we go. Oh, it just got very exciting here in the car. <laughs> so we've passed through Cañas, and it was not very exciting. But what was just exciting is that we were speeding, and uh, we just narrowly avoided getting a traffic ticket. What do you think about that, Jeff? Um, you know, I was thinking about getting a ticket earlier, and what would happen, like would we actually pay it or not? Me, of course, I'd, you know, probably content to fly out of the country without paying the $10,000 ticket. Ah, but then your wife, you and have a wife. Says, <laughs> and she says, no, I don't know, I think we should pay it. Black mark on our passports forever, never being allowed back into Costa Rica, I would have hated that. Yeah, for a, a 10,000 Colone speeding ticket? Exactly. I well, don't think so. I mean, I don't think that they wouldn't let us back in. Well, in any event, it was only 10,000 colones, which would have been fine to pay, but the problem was that we were going to have to come back into Cañas to go to court tomorrow to pay uh, it. I'll tell you what worked out nicely, I think, is that if we were just around here, we probably would have said, okay, I have to pay it, but we asked if we could pay it on Thursday, which is the day that we are coming back through here. Right. And, uh... He seemed to think that was going to be more of a hassle was, for everybody involved. Yeah, more of a hassle for everybody involved. So, no ticket. No ticket, he said. It was very, very, very nice of him. And uh, now Jeff is going to obey the speed limits. Drive like an asshole, 60 kilometers an hour. Yeah. <laughs> oh, carry on. Ooh. Carry on is rotting meat. Oof, it's stinky too. Ugh. It stinks like carry on. Ugh. Yeah. Can I drive fast? No. Ugh. <laughs> That is the view from our window in Playa Ocatal. It's the Gulf. And there's our little friend. He was chilling yesterday, he's chilling today. Eat those bugs, baby.
here we go with another view of the Gulf and our good friend the lizard. He's like our little pet. He was getting attacked, pecked by some cheeky black birds, those long-tailed blackbirds, those bastards. Uh, they were just like hopping right down and muck, 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 like pecking him. It was pretty crazy. And uh, I just watched the whole thing happen from the other side of the window here. And uh, he held his own though, he's thick-skinned. And uh, then he actually jumped to uh, that tree over there. It's quite something to see the lizard jump through the air and land on the tree. I can only hope that he made its way up to the nest where he ate some of the eggs of the birds. Uh, I don't know why I automatically uh, side with the lizard in this one. He's, uh, he's like our little mascot. He's a good guy. I like him. Where you going, buddy? Getting ready to do something in a very slow, deliberate way. Looks like he's uh, gonna go down. What happened? Because it's got there, but I didn't know that. What's happening, birds? It's all good. Yeah? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 